Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the crankcase cover on this Briggs & Stratton engine, you will need to uninstall the engine from the equipment it's powering. If the engine is installed on this Cub Cadet Chipper Shredder, you will need these tools to fully uninstall the engine. In addition, you will need a 10 mm socket and two large flathead screwdrivers when replacing the crankcase cover. Before you begin this procedure, make sure the engine has cooled. We also recommend there be no fuel in the tank or oil in the engine. Use the half-inch wrench to secure the bolts and the half-inch socket to unthread the nuts, securing the hopper assembly support plate to the impeller housing. Using the half-inch socket, unthread the six mounting nuts securing the front of the hopper assembly to the housing. With the nuts unthreaded, tilt the hopper assembly back and lift up to fully detach the assembly from the bolts. Remove the shredder plate. Next, unthread the two retaining knob screws, securing the bottom of the discharge chute. Use the 7 16th inch wrench to secure the chute's mounting bolt. Then use the 7 16th inch socket to fully unthread the nut. Slide out the bolt. Detach the chute. And remove the two spacers. Use the needle nose pliers to pull out the retaining pin, securing the shredder screen pin, and slide the pin out. Next, use the half inch socket, the small flathead screwdriver, and the needle nose pliers to remove the upper mounting screws, securing the outer flail housing. With the tow bar installed, tip the chipper shredder back and set a weight on the tow bar to hold it down. Now, using the half inch socket and the half inch wrench, remove the 10 remaining nuts and bolts securing the outer housing to the inner housing. With all the nuts and bolts uninstalled, fully detach the outer flail housing and set the shredder screen aside. Use the 2x4 piece of wood to prevent the impeller from rotating. Use the 9 16 inch 6 point socket with a half inch driver to unthread the center mounting bolt securing the shredder blade and impeller. This will require some effort.
Reposition the wood support to secure the impeller. Now use the 5 8 inch socket to thread the impeller removal tool into the center bolt screw hole. The bottom of the tool will then push against the bottom of the engine shaft to detach the impeller from the shaft. Once detached, unthread the impeller removal tool. Return the chipper shredder to its upright position. Now pull out the retaining pin securing the tow bar clevis pin. Slide out the clevis pin and remove the bar. Tip the chipper shredder back. Use the half-inch wrench and the half-inch socket to remove the nut and bolt securing the left rear corner of the engine base. Use the half-inch socket to unthread the three remaining mounting bolts securing the base. Return the chipper shredder to its upright position. Now unthread the four mounting bolts securing the engine to the inner flail housing. With the bolts unthreaded, you can now fully remove the engine and set it on a sturdy surface with the crankshaft facing up. Use the 10 mm socket to unthread the six mounting screws, securing the crankcase cover. You can use a flathead screwdriver to help pry off the cover. To prepare the new crankcase cover for installation, transfer the fill caps from the old cover to the new one. Use the two large flathead screwdrivers to pry the governor gear off. You will need to release the retaining clip to slide off the idler gear. Position the idler gear on the new cover and secure it with the clip. Slide the governor gear washer onto the shaft. Insert the plunger into the governor gear, then align the assembly on the shaft and press down until it snaps into place. Next, insert the provided oil seal into the new cover. To help fully seat the seal, you can slide a small and a large washer over a long bolt, then insert the bolt through the hole in the cover. Slide a small flywheel puller brace over the bolt, or a flat piece of wood or metal. 
slide on a washer or two, then thread and tighten the nut to seat the seal. With the seal secured, unthread the nut and remove the brace, bolt, and washers. Now align the provided gasket on the crankcase mounting pins. You can now position the new cover on the crankcase and thread the mounting screws in a diagonal order. Using the 10 millimeter socket on a torque wrench, torque the screws to 100 inch pounds. You can now reinstall the engine by positioning it on the chipper shredder base with the crankshaft inserted through the hole in the inner flail housing. Confirm the washers are on the screws, then loosely thread the four screws to secure the engine to the housing. Tip the chipper shredder back, then thread and tighten the three mounting bolts to secure the engine base to the base of the chipper shredder. Next, confirm the star washer is aligned on the left rear bolt then insert the bolt. Slide on the round washer, then thread and tighten the nut to secure the left rear corner of the engine base. Set the equipment upright, then tighten the four screws securing the engine to the inner flail housing. Keeping the hitch plates tilted downward, reinsert the tow bar into the mounting bracket. Slide in the clevis pin and secure it with the retaining pin. With the tow bar reinstalled, tip the chipper shredder back and support it. Reinstall the impeller assembly by aligning it on the engine shaft. Secure it with the wood support, then rethread the center mounting bolt. Using the 9 16th inch 6 point socket on a torque wrench, torque the center bolt to 50 foot pounds. Remove the wood. Position the shredder screen mounting post in the hole in the inner flail housing, then realign the outer housing. Thread and tighten the 10 nuts and bolts to secure.
Rethread the two upper mounting screws using the speed clips. Remove the weight and return the chipper shredder to its upright position. Slide the shredder screen pin through the impeller housing and screen. Insert the retaining pin to secure. Realign the discharge chute on the impeller housing and insert the spacers. Insert the mounting bolt then thread and tighten the nut. Fully position the chute, then thread and tighten the retaining knob screws. Realign the shredder plate on the six impeller housing bolts. Reinstall the hopper assembly by aligning the support plate on the two upper mounting bolts first. Then rotate the assembly to align it on the impeller housing bolts. Thread and tighten all eight mounting nuts to secure. We recommend hand threading the nuts first, then using the socket to tighten once all the nuts are in place. Refill the fuel tank, add oil, and the engine should be ready for use.